Hi, once again, I'm Sonda Mulunduch Pampata is my name. I uh, just want to speak about Zambia a little bit. The thing with Zambia is we've got a problem, I guess it's an African problem, but in Zambia it's extremely bad. First of all, we do not have uh, a coast, we don't have a sea point, a uh, port. So everything that we get has to go through other countries in order to get to us. And then secondly, we import about almost anything and everything. Our small industries have all been uh, have all been done away with. Um, in the first government that we had, the president then tried to Zambianize everything, tried to make industries for the locals, and even the mines were then run by the locals. Uh, well, partnership. Let me put it that way: partly Anglo-American uh, and partly Zambian. But at, as it stands right now, everything has been liberalized and it's like the whole economy is basically run by outsiders. There's Chinese in there. And to some extent, there's a lot of South African development, like most of the majority of the shopping malls are from South Africa. The shops are South African. The Chinese are in there doing everything that they can to make money. The Canadians are in there as well. There's Australians as well. Americans are in there as well, and the British who have always been there are also still there. And we don't have, we can't really claim anything that's ours, you know. The whole country is basically run by foreigners. And it's, it's sad because when you go there, I live in South Africa, when I go to the shopping malls, yes, it's nice to see that there's uh, good buildings which we never used to have before. But it's also sad in a way to see that nothing is authentically ours we can't claim anything Although we've got a few shops here and there that are maybe zambian here and there but the fact of the matter is the mall itself is constructed by um, a south african company so you'll find that the majority shops will be south african the edgars um, pick and pay Shoprite, uh, spa spur things like that um, house and home, um, you know, all the furniture shops that you find like in South Africa are basically there and all that money is being siphoned outside. And what is the local person doing? Nothing. They're all just chasing a dream within the same uh, system. So for me, that's a bit of a downside. It's a good thing, yes, but at the same time, it's like somebody is fattening their pockets and they're not really thinking of the Zambian. And if we are ever going to develop as a nation, which I don't know, at this point, um, the only way we can do it is to keep, to take back our minds and process our own uh, copper, which we can do if uh, the politicians weren't as greedy as they are. But obviously, you know, every government that comes in has got their own plan, their own agenda, and they just do whatever they want.